All right, fam, we are back out here for day 30, y'all. We actually made it. We really made it. This is day 30 of the 30-day challenge on how to improve your relationship. I am your girl, Marshawn Olanio, and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, the relationship that they need, and the relationship that they desire. So, what are we going to talk about today to wrap all of this up to end this 30-day series? on how to improve your relationship. So I thought that it would be very befitting if we discussed communication and how communication is the key to everything. Hey boo, hey Tiffany, hey. <laughs> uh, anyway, so how is communication the key and why it's the key to everything that you want good in life, but especially in your relationship? Every topic, every top, hey Keith, <laughs> every topic that we have been discussing throughout this 30 day challenge has all been about the way that you communicate with your spouse, communicate with your partner, the respect that you want to receive, um, or going out on dates, um, Everything that we've talked about for the past 30 days is all about your communication, your skills on being a great communicator. It's really not what you say. It's absolutely all about how you deliver the content. It's how you say the very thing that you need to express to your spouse, that you need to express to your partner. How do you say it? Have you thought about how you actually communicate with your spouse what how how are you actually delivering the message that you need to get across to your spouse have you actually sat back and thought before you let that thought come out of your mouth or are you just one that just everything 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 you're not thinking before you're speaking so you're just speaking whatever comes out of your mouth no matter how it comes out of your mouth it doesn't matter how you hurt your partner's feelings because you felt that you needed to say this very thing and it doesn't matter how you needed to say it so you wanted to make sure that you said it period it didn't matter how you actually affected your partner how the words um mess up your relationship i'm mean, seriously words do matter words do matter how you deliver your information how you deliver your um your message to your spouse or to your partner it absolutely matters hey johnny i see you it matters how do you communicate with your spouse as seriously as not what you say i truly believe you can say whatever you need to say for your spouse to understand you it's how you say it. Are you saying it in a loving manner? Or are you saying it as a matter of fact, I don't give a damn how you feel. I'm giving it to you the way that I feel that I should give it to you. And guess what? You should honor and respect the way that I'm giving it to you no matter what. Are you that type of person? And then you also want the respect. You think that you deserve to get the respect. But you don't get respect like that. That's not the way you're going to build and improve on your relationship, especially if you are the one who just spitting out everything just because. Have no tact. You're not thinking before you speak. You're just speaking. How do you communicate with your spouse? When you want something from your spouse, when you need, when you're expressing a need that you have, that you want your spouse to pick up on. That you want them to now do this very thing for you. How are you communicating that to them? Do you think that they are mind readers? Do you think that he is a mind reader? Do you think that she is a mind reader? And so just because a special day is coming up, they're supposed to know what to get you. They're supposed to know how to please you. How, how have you communicated this stuff to your spouse, to your partner? Or are you really just waiting for them to mess up so you can be mad that they messed up? So instead of waiting for them to mess up, just give them the key. Give them the key. Give them the opportunity to do you right. Because a lot of times we really, we truly believe that our spouses are mind readers for some reason. Or we feel because most of us have been in more than one relationship. And because you've been in more than one relationship, you should have noticed by now that everybody you're in a relationship with do not expect everything the same way. 
So the way that you treated one person, the other person or the next person, the current person might not like that thing. But because you feel that, why don't they like this thing? Instead of you guys having a conversation about it, you just get pissed off or you just walk away or you just huff and puff or you just avoid the conversation. And then if something does occur, like a breakup, a separation, you wondering why. Just communicate better. We've all heard this a million times. Today, I'm not telling you anything new. Anything new. Because most of us have heard the word communication. And communication is the key. Anytime you talk to anybody that's been in a relationship for years, several years, decades, they always tell you that they communicate it. Because it makes a difference. This is the key to your relationship surviving and thriving. And not only communicating with them the way that you deliver the message. That matters too. So how are you delivering your message to your spouse? Yeah, I want to know. How are you delivering your message to your spouse? Have you actually sat back and thought about the way that you currently give the information? Are you usually irritated when you're getting ready to give the information? Hey, G, I see you. Are you usually irritated? Or are you one to say, you know what, let me evaluate this situation. Let me truly see how I feel or why I am like irritated in this particular instance. Why did that bother me so much? And then answer your own question on why it bothered you so much. And then explain this stuff to your spouse. Are you able to do that? Or do you currently do that? And if not, that is something that is easily fixable. It's easy to do it if we just humble ourselves enough to do it. If we take away the ego, if we take away the pride. Because like I said before, lots of times relationships do not work because people do not want to say, I'm sorry. It's something about those two words that makes some of us feel weak instead of strong, instead of empowered. We feel weak when we say, I'm sorry. Or you know what? It was my fault. How can we fix this? We feel weak. Or we wait for, we, we, we have waited so long and things are going down the tube so long, we don't think that we can actually fix it. But this right here can fix it. You have to speak up. You have to let your partner know where you're coming from. You have to be able to just verbalize what you need to say in a respectful manner, without blame. Don't put it on your partner why you decided to act a fool. That's you. That's not your partner. That's you. Because we all can take responsibility only for ourselves. It has nothing to do with our spouse at all. I know it may seem that way in the moment because that's the person that you're in it with, that you're arguing with, that you're having a discussion with. But you only have control over your own actions. And your partner or your spouse only has control over their actions. You cannot control him. You cannot control her. We all have to take responsibility in controlling ourselves. How are you showing up in your relationship? How are you showing out in your relationship? Is it in a positive manner or in a negative manner? Are you dwelling on the good? Are you always dwelling on the bad? Are you lifting your partner up by giving him or giving her those words of encouragement by letting them know, you know what? You know what, baby? I love you so much for just being here, for choosing me and me choosing you. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about how you are showing up and showing out in your relationship and giving your spouse the encouragement? How much time are you guys spending together? How many gifts have you given lately? And gifts, like I mentioned before, gifts does not have to be something bought. How often are you showing your spouse? How often are you showing your partner that you just care about them? That you just was thinking about them? In the form of a gift. How often are you guys cuddling with one another? How often are you actually saying that you need this stuff? Because a lot of times, again, I'm going to go back to the mind reading. We think that our spouse is just supposed to know. That's just not true. Me and my husband, 
we have relationship check-ins, which is something else that I spoke about. You need to start having relationship check-ins if you're not doing them already because what relationship check-ins does is it gives you a blueprint on what you need to work on. And it gives your spouse or partner a blueprint of what they need to work on. So you can continue to build this happy, romantic relationship, healthy relationship. Do the relationship check-ins. They make a huge difference. I'm not saying that even when you hear what your partner has to say or what your spouse has to say, you're going to want to hear it because we're stubborn. And we're actually all little girls and little boys deep down inside. And we don't want to be chastised by our spouse or by our partner. We just want them to know. And we don't want to do what they said that we should do, even if we know that what they're saying is right. So even though I know that what you're saying is right to me, I don't want to do it. And I don't want to do it. And that all goes back to the pride and ego. I even have pride and ego. I know that I do. I'm a work in progress, y'all. And I already told y'all that. Now, how many of y'all can out there can relate to me? Because we have pride and ego. Period. People, period, have pride and ego. And it's a destroyer. Am I alone? Am I alone in the pride and ego? Can you relate to me? It's all about the way that you communicate the things that you need. Communicate the things that you want. Communicate the things that you desire in your relationship. And that is how your relationship will prove, improve. If you take anywhere from three to five things that I've already spoken about over these past 30 days, and even if you're getting in on this and you have not been watching the full time, just go down my timeline. Or if you're on YouTube, just go. I have it in the playlist. Watch all 30 of those videos, right? And then you take the ones that you know that you need to work on, that you can improve on your relationship. I get it. 30 things sounds like a lot. I totally get that. But you can always keep this in your back pocket. And once you um, master one of the things, you can start to work on something else, right? All of us are a work in progress. It's not just me. It's not just you. It's not just your spouse or your partner. All of us are a work in progress. And that is what is going to make you guys happy. Because you have a goal that you're trying to attain. And in this case, your goal is to improve your relationship. That is how your relationship will be the best it can be. And how it would actually improve. So again... Come back and take the three to five things that you know that you need to work on, that you need to improve on within your relationship. Trust me, sis. Trust me, bro. Your relationship will actually improve by at least five times. I put three times because three times is easy to digest. But really, if you, if you really sit back and think about all 30 things that I've done, that I've spoke about these past 30 days, if you take the thir all 30, your relationship will exponentially change for the better. Exponentially change for the better. And it, have you noticed that a lot of them has to do with you? Yeah, because we have to do the self-work ourselves. We have to do our own self-work. And once we do our own self-work, trust me, you will be able to communicate a lot better with your spouse. You'll be able to empathize and sympathize with your spouse so much more. And you'll be able to see, I'm not so perfect either. And neither is he or neither is she. Neither one of us is as perfect as we pretend to be. And that's okay. We're all a work in progress. Think about how you communicate now. Write it down. Because when you write it down, you remember it. And it'll start to stand out to you because it'll, it's something about you writing it down and it actually sinking into your memory. After you write that down, write down how you actually react right now. And then finally write down how you want to react in the future. And I'm saying react, but I mean communicate. Because that's what we're talking about today, communication. Yes. So how do you communicate now? Write it down. And then how do, how do you want to communicate in the future? Do you want to be more loving, more respectful, honor your spouse more, literally give them words of encouragement, 
tell them how much you um, appreciate and respect them. The choice is yours. The choice is so yours. It's all about you. It's all about you improving on you first and then working on the relationship. Thank you guys. This is the 30 day challenge has now been complete. Of course, you'll see me again. You'll absolutely see me again. You just won't see me every day. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take these things in. Again, re repeating this the last time. If you take even four to five of the things that I've spoken about over these past 30 days, your relationship will improve exponentially. And if you are not in a relationship, take the things that you can start working on for yourself that I've spoke about. Because literally, you have to work on you before your relationship will improve. After you work on you, then you can improve your relationship with your husband, with your wife, with your girlfriend, with your boyfriend, and even with those others, like your siblings, your parents, your friends. Communication is the key in every relationship, okay? I will see you guys in a future video series. I'm sure I'm going to start one up next week. All right. See you guys soon. Have a great day.